Hello. Focus on High Fleet Dagon. Evil Sun Scarlet in it. Okay, obviously, just do it everywhere. No, you don't want to see all of it. Got your own... Your own life. Stop leeching off of me! Kind of crimson, it? See that time? That's bit where I'd, like, show. And I hadn't opened it or anything. So then I had to go and put it and open it. <laughs> put it on. Just put it on. Put it on. Every... Put it on. Hey! Little man. You've waited for that to dry, haven't you? <laughs> Blue. Model air blue. I use that because it's actually quite dark. It's quite a darker blue than normal blues. Other blues. It's not ultramarine blue. It's darker. Put it on. The carapace. What colour are the Tyranid's wings? Is he brown? Is he a bit of orange? A bit of a bit of green? The skin? Mix everything. Mix it all in. Bit of wash. Mix mix it all up. That gives you the combo. What you're gonna need? To do his wings. Think about real life. Think about the flying tree squirrel. Think about how the membrane of his wings stretches as he floats upon the breeze. Think how you would feel with the wind flying beneath your stretched membranes. Think of the explosion of passion when you should land and try and mix a colour. <laughs> just, it's just, it's just, just a sort of skin colour, but it's like his red skin, his red. What is it? What is it? Is it bone? It's, oh, I know the. Chitting, chitting like an insect. Uh, it's, it's just that, but I've tried to line it up. And if you do do it this way, and you're batch painting particularly, uh, keep it on hand because I'm just going to add lighter colours to it to do all the, 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 the extra bits, which are later on. So you should keep watching it. Having let it dry, you now need some shadow. Think of life with no shadow. You'd look fake as fuck. So I got the Reichland flesh shade and shaded the bits where it makes sense to, which you already know what they are because you're a human being with thoughts with values 
and with eyes in the front of your face. Use them. Use them. And put the Reichland flesh shade or any dark colour that is similar in hue to the colour you painted his wings in those places. Right, I'm bored of that jazz now. You won't hear that again. Well, I split it up with me talking. One three-minute track goes on forever. I'm bored of it. Do you remember me saying that I was going to use the colour before to use to paint the wings and then use the light one to do the mad shit? Water it down a lot. A lot. Make it highly transparent. Use a decent brush. And then just draw a load of mental lines. Like I'm doing here, look. You're thinking, what? You're thinking, Horace Hersey, what are you doing? All their professional kill painters on YouTube, they all say they're just edge high and blending. Dead sweet blend, bro. Wait, sweet blend, bro. I'm not doing that. Because it's a fleshy membrane. And any time you stretch your membrane out, you see it looks weird. It's just got all like lines in it and stuff. It's like well, it's organic, isn't it? It's organic. It's not a car. This is fleshy membrane. You might want to experiment with doing the lines going horizontally instead of vertically. You what you fucking want. You fucking do that. <laughs> I didn't, and I did it a couple of times and I kept the reason it's transparent is because look look where it's drying now on the left there that you can't really see it unless you look at it so that means that I can get lighter in colour and go over it again almost like with carapace alright yeah I know what I'm doing can't <laughs> This is nearly all hedge highlighting now. What else is there? What else do we believe in? Taking colours that are lighter than any others and applying them to the edges. <laughs> see it. Uh, if you missed the inspirational text beforehand, you should go back and see it. But basically, all you're doing here is your edge highlighting. You've gone off in several stages of colour, you've built it up on the wings, now it looks like a lovely vertical steam brain. Looks like the wings are what I did Here I've got fucking lighter red. Pick any lighter red. Putting it on. Do you know what I'm going to do then? I'm going to put orange on. 
uh, and we'll just I'll skip over this tune because I'm sort of fed up with this music as well. I'm a bit fed up with it until we get to the canopy. It's all right. So what's it for that? Right, Carapas. No, watch me do my technique. One, two, three, four. One. See that technique? It tells me it's a shorthand for me. It's not for you, it's for me. And if I was in any way industrial or in any way professional, I'd cut that out. You wouldn't see my technique. But I share that with you. Because I'm a good human being. <laughs> Anyway, what you're going to see is going to make a lighter blue. Listen. Then you just edge highlight. Okay. Drag it up very much. Very much like I did with the wings. In fact, if you did it exactly like the wings, it'd probably look a bit better. What I ended up doing was using the original blue, putting a, sm a small layer of that across, and then wet blending it in. This is very simple. Very simple, there's no mystery. It's literally just trying, it's doing what I'm doing now on a layer of wet paint, like Bob Ross. That's all Bob would do. That's all Bob was. He was one of us, guys. It was me. It was you. Bob that. Okay, you can see everything I'm doing from here on out. I'm putting some white on. I'm going to wash it with a bit of flesh, whatever, 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 whatever. Doing a couple of final edge highlights. Guess what? Do it with a lighter colour than the a first edge highlight you did. But use it in the most high places. Nothing new under the sun, guys. Like it, comment on it, subscribe on it, make me fucking bell. Please subscribe and be there for you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.